My name is Burwell Colbert. My job as a slave was easier than most others. I woke up at the crack of dawn every morning and walked down to Monticello to find Master Jefferson. I worked as Master Jefferson's personal servant. My day was mainly made up of directing housemaids, waiters, and porters, laying out Master Jefferson's clothes every morning, and attending to his personal needs. After the day was over, all the slaves that lived near gathered together. We danced and sang till an overseer came to send us back to our cabins to sleep. I wasn't always a servant, though. I was born into slavery and, like all other slaves, started working in the nail area as a child. That nail area was dark and hot, and my fingers were sore and my back ached from bending over every day. I was a skilled na nail maker, though, so I moved up to being a butler. Master Jefferson excluded me from being whipped, so punishment was not something I ever worried about, although it would have been terribly embarrassing to get caught doing anything wrong. I lived in Mulberry Row while I was a slave. It was the hub of pl the plantation with countless workshops, cabins, and storage buildings. All the house servants and artisans lived there. We all lived in small one-room ca cabins with mud floors and holes as windows. All of us slaves had to go to the woods and secretly worship and go to church. When Master Jefferson was dying, I was at his side every minute. I tried to keep my eyes open every night so that I could make sure Master Jefferson was okay. I tried to keep him as comfortable as he could be. After Master Jefferson died though, I was lucky. I became one of the only slaves who were freed. He even left me $300 to help me get off my feet. Almost all of the other slaves were auctioned so that Master Jefferson could pay off his debt. After I was freed, I started working as a painter and glazer. Nowadays, I help my wife Mary raise my three kids. Thank you.